Is there anything in prospect that will change the topic? so that this, this subject won't be the dominant political issue over the next 12 months or so. I mean, there, there's a budget coming along. Um, mm. It's already been suggested by, I think, uh, um, in, the, in the Herald Sun, the Telegraph, that it might be the toughest budget since 1996. Um, what, what's going to change the subject? Well, I think the budget will to a degree. You've got to feel sorry, to, uh, in a way, for Wayne Swan. He's, he's acting Prime Minister at the time of the, the Christmas Island um, boat wreck. He's acting Prime Minister when the flood started in Western Queensland, and he's acting, he's acting Prime Minister with this uh, absolute disaster in Japan. More so, though, he's a, he's a treasurer trying to develop a budget when each of those two disasters are reducing his options because they're cutting productivity domestically and, um, and internationally. And I think to produce this budget, to keep the timetable the government has set, there's going to be have to be some really hefty cutting and I think there are going to be a, a lot of ministerial noses out of joint so uh, what's going to change the politics of this I, th I think the, uh, the, the the switch is going to be to the economy and the management of the economy with this budget coming up in May. Because if ever they needed a political circuit breaker mm. it, it's now and that's why the budget presents us that um, surely has that potential but the, even if the, some of the news is bad. Look mm. the, there will be other issues obviously you know coming up and going away and coming up but we're talking about an issue that so far helped end the career of John Howard it ended Kevin Rudd's Prime Ministership it now threatens to completely destroy Julia Gillard's it's mm. ended the career the leadership of Malcolm Turnbull. But for different reasons coming out from different angles. Yeah but the same issue different reasons and I'm yeah. just saying this is an issue that will keep on giving us dead leaders until the, the whole scare evaporates. Yeah, I do think, though, a week ago when they finally, Wayne Swan started it, but finally started running, oh, this is a tax on the big polluters and not on the uh, on average Australians, that started to resonate with some people. Well, I think the next political um, stoush has surely got to be around um, what sort of expenditure on advertising uh, they're going to suggest. Mm. Uh, and if they we start all know the get out, out clause. We all know the national get out emergency. clause, national emergency. <laughs> but it, it does. Look, both sides of politics have cooled their pitch on this one because they've both had a massive attacks at each other on the level of advertising spent over the years on so called you know, national mm. emergency measures. Um, and, and we know when that kicks in, by the way. When your opinion poll drops to 70 percent, so, so I, they, they'd be, I just think they have to be very careful around that because mm. they, they look, it looks so hypocritical mm. when that you start flinging taxpayers' money around on um, justification, self-justification. All right, more with our panel shortly. Kerry Ann Walsh, Andrew Bolt, and Malcolm Farber. Now here's Mike Bowers and Talking Pictures. <laughs>